Hello ladies and gentlemen, Roderick here back with more Let's Play Skies of Arcadia. And we're going to go back to Del Delphinius, and we are going to get into a fight with the defensive heavy Admiral. Time to go fight Gregorio. Alright, I did change around some equipment on everyone. Uh, I have Gilder's amulet, so that's on Aka. And then I put the Slayer Ring on Enrique. So. And hey, it's him! Yeah, we're, we're gonna do it. So, uh. We've already gone up against several. So, we gotta try. Our ship is the best there is. We'll find a way. So, stop being so freaking pessimistic. And Vice is just kind of staring off into space when we really should be getting on the ship and, you know... Yeah. I kind of wonder how Vice got that little scar on his cheek. If you can get through one side, you'll reach the eye in the middle. It's rumored that the eye is calm. Uh-huh. Alright, so at least we have a little bit more information about how to get through. In the meantime, we've, uh, we've got some people to beat up. You're just like me when I was your age. And then I grew up to be cynical and depressing. Delphinius is approaching into attack position. And he's actually going into this fight with not, like, he's like, I'm not going to take any chances. It's like, they're kids, but they're kids with the biggest gun that the Armada's got. Aye, aye. Alright, so this is a set of three fights. We have, at first, the cruiser. Hand the prince over, you'll pay for kidnapping. We didn't brainwash him, he came with us. So we've got Gregorio Cruiser, 25,000 HP. Really not a thing. Yeah. Uh, let's see... Moonstone Cannon will one-hit KO him. And we also have a new thing, the crew! So, we have... Marco. Double all of spirit points for a turn, so I'm actually going to use that. Right there. And then I'm gonna focus there, and then we're gonna guard... And we might cast Inkram? No, we'll we'll guard. We I can use Inkram next time. It's fine. So we now have crew capabilities, which make it considerably more entertaining for ship combat. Especially based off of who you've got in your party. Focusing? Yes, I definitely need more, because really all we need to do is use the Moonstone Cannon, and he's, he's taken out. It's not... this one's not difficult. I'm hoping to have all three of the fights that we have to do, because as you saw, there were... there was the flagship, and then there were two of each class of ship. And we have to fight one of those two classes of ships. So this was the first one, the cruiser, and then we've got a gunboat next, which is 
a slightly more offensive geared, but still not a, a difficult fight. Alright, so yeah, we got the Moonstone Cannon. That's it. Discard. That'll that's the that's the end of it. We really don't have to do anything else. I probably should have bought another armored deck just to raise my defense even more. But eh. Alright. You've used both of your attacks, and now it's my turn. And that's game for you. Moonstone cannon, fire! I will be really surprised if he survives this. There, there's really not much of a, a way that he should. No, no, did not think that was gonna happen. That's one fight. And... Speedwax! Fantastic. And now the whole town is out watching us beat the crap out of the Armada. And I love... I love how they're all, like, backseat... fighting. And then we, we Moonstone Cannon and not all. Oh, oh, no. You, you guys probably don't want to be right here. And he's just like, I don't. I don't care. Oh, he, he got hit with a rock. Okay. Hilarious. Alright, so we have the next line of ships. The gunboat. Really, also not a big threat but more of a threat than the last one. Alright, so this one is basically the same thing. Uh, he's got more health, but Moonstone Cannon will be more than enough for it. So, uh, we are going to... Uh, cast Inkram. And then we are going to... Then we're just gonna focus. Yeah. And then I could use Marco to double my spirit points, but... I don't even really think I need to do that, so... Uh, this guy has slightly more damage to him. Like, he, he has slightly more weapons much weapons, such damage. Uh, main cannon, blast charge, and a fragment... fragmenter gun. Okay. That sounds dangerous. I mean, really, he's got a... he's got giant spikes on the front of his ship. Okay, so, about 3,000 points of damage. That'll go down. Because I've got Ingram. Fragmenter gun. Oh, and you missed. With the gun that I was probably scared of. That seems like it was a sub cannon. Alright, so as you can see, we have... Uh, an option for Moonstone Cannon. So, yeah. We just want to take that option. Uh... We got Speedwax, so we're going to use the next, next turn. Uh, Deluxe Kit. Actually, no, we're just going to use Sacre. Just to recover. Uh, we'll use Sacrez, just to recover some. And... Guard, guard. Guard. I could have... I probably should have recast Ingram just to guarantee that I have it active but I really don't think I'm going to even need it. Alright, so that's a sub-cannon. I'm not even... I'm so not worried about that. Your main gun did so much more damage. Alright, 
So we're just gonna keep guarding. This is this is kind of boring, but it's the next fight that's because then we have to deal with uh, Gregorio's flagship, and he's he's dangerous. So yeah. And you missed with one, and you hit me with a sub cannon. Again, I'm not... I don't know why I was worried about... I guess it just sounds nasty. But it's not. I love how the... The, the Delphinius looks really interesting. Like, the front of it... Eh. Alright, so we can close in and look for an opening. Play it safe and continue on the same course. You want to close in. And that'll give us the Moonstone Cannon prompt, and that'll end this fight. Just on the off chance it doesn't. And hey, look at how much more the tenant like, we can just have that one fire for days. And... there. Just on the off chance that, that that doesn't do anything, I want to guarantee that he's dead. And we'll get behind him, and Moonstone Cannon him. Moonstone Cannon, fire! The fact that we can fire this multiple times in succession like this... Oh my god, it didn't defeat him. I'm glad I actually, you know, threw some attacks in. That's not gonna finish him off, though, unfortunately. That... I was hoping that that was going to be the end of it. That's... That's spectacular. That did a fair bit of damage, though. I forgot how much damage the, uh... The, the Moonstone Cannon just did. But... He's got about 30,000 HP. He's only got, like, 5,000 more than... The last one, so I'm kind of surprised. So... I'll probably cast Sacrum again. Yeah. Um. Sacras. Focus. Yeah. Sacras, focus. Focus. That's really... I, I don't really even need to do anything, because I, if I close in again, I'll get the Moonstone Cannon option, and that'll, that'll definitely take him out. He won't survive this round. He'll do some damage to me, but... eh. This might be a slightly longer episode, because I think it's going to take more than... Uh, more than seven minutes at this point to take out... Uh, Gregorio. Alright, so yeah, I've got more than enough focus now, or more than enough spirit with what I'll recover next turn to do that. And again, just close in. And you missed. All around. Not really... This is not... This is, this is so silly. And you missed with one of them. I kind of want to know what taking aim is. I think it's just, uh... Just something they do. Alright, so yeah. There's really no point in continuing this farce, so... Target lost, and now it's my turn, and you get shot with a giant cannon. And that's game for you. And now we have... We've got, uh, Gregorio. And what do we get from that one? Level up for Aka. Shredder Bomb and Crystal Ball. Crystal Ball is an accessory that we can equip. I don't remember what it does. 
I think it in improves our magic. Now we get to fight Gregorio himself. Yes. Let's go. It's now or never. Alright, so let's fight Gregorio, shall we? And of course we get the impressive music. Against Gregorio's flagship. He has a special ability, like all other admirals. Alright, he has an ability for, uh, how can we put this, uh, ramming us, <laughs> which is not going to be good. So one thing that we need to do is we need to dodge that, so we're going to use Quicka, which, uh, for this fight, he has ridiculous defense, and he, his attacks are also going to be in the couple thousand range. And when it gets to a red tile attack, so if we ever see red on the on the, the grid, that's when we know we need to, to, to be careful. Alright, we'll use Marco, actually hold on, we've got uh, we'll use Marco And then we'll just... I'm gonna build up as much spirit as I can, because I'm gonna... I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna build it up as early on, because I need to make sure I have... the quicker effect. I want Ankrum. And I'm gonna need enough to make sure I can use the Moonstone Cannon when it's prompted. So we have one Speed Wax that we can use, and that's the only way that we can get the prompt for the Moonstone Cannon. We have to dodge his battering ram because it throws him uh, in a, a vulnerable position. Otherwise, we won't get the opportunity to do so. We could beat him with just regular cannon fire, should we want to do that, but... Okay, that did a little more damage than I was expecting. But that also doubles my spirit. So... I love that it doubles spirit, and then it uses spirit for it. Like, that's just... Interesting little mechanic there. Gregorio has been nicknamed Iron Wall by his peers. He is the Armada's best defensive tactician. Okay. Alright, we are going to use items. We're going to use a speed kit. to give us quicker. We are going to use... a Shredder Bomb. Because why not? Get some damage in. Use Ankrum. And... I don't really want to do that, but... I'll do that. Add a little bit of damage to him. He's got... Oh my god, he's got 50,000 HP. Crap, this is going to take a little while. Yeah. So we've got Ingram and another 10-inch coil, which looks like it was enhanced by the Ingram. That's fantastic. And he's doing some damage to us. I'm probably going to need to heal. And I'm probably going to need to end this episode soon, because there is no way I'm going to be able to finish this fight in this episode. Yeah, I was hoping. I was hoping. But not in the cards. And Speedwax gives us... So we've got Ingram and Quicka. I need, yeah, I'm gonna need to heal. I'm 
glad I've got a complete kit. I don't have... I don't have... Okay, that's not good. Alright, complete kit. Magic. Quick, uh... Um... Pow. We need pow. And... We'll f focus, I guess. Okay. Probably didn't need the complete kit, but... Eh. I want to see if this actually gives me the, the prompt to use the... The Moonstone Cannon before I end this episode, because I kind of need to use the Moonstone Cannon to take him out. Otherwise, I'm going to take forever just pummeling him with cannon fire, with this ridiculous amount of spirit that I've built up. I do, however, really like the crew commands. That does make these fights a little more interesting. Alright, so he's focusing, he's getting in range for his battering ram. So we've got Quicka. Hull Ram. And Fantastic. Missed. So I just have to use Quicka the turn before he does that. And now he's going to pay. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to end this episode here, and then I'm going to just lay into him with the Moonstone Cannon. So I'll see you guys in the next installment. Till then, later everyone.